No way! Yeah, what the hell? So why do I look like I'm actually about to go skiing? So I went to Hawaii recently and I brought both my Quest 3 and my Vision Pro with me and I put them both in one case. They definitely did not like that. They exchanged a few words. Uh, on the plane, I watched this movie about the multiverse and I think that's going to be my personality for the next month. But I would say the hardest part about going back and forth between the Vision Pro and the Quest 3 is the lack of spatial browsing in the Quest 3. Okay, maybe that's a lie. I think the hardest part is getting used to looking at things and pinching the air and expecting something to happen. But the lack of spatial browsing is a close second. Fortunately for the Quest 3, there's Fluid, which is an app that we've actually talked about on this channel before. But it's grown a lot over the past few months, so I think we need to talk about it again. Fluid is a free spatial browsing app that lets you have browsers that can be resized and repositioned without needing any computers besides your Quest. And I know what you're thinking, do we really need more videos of people putting browsers over their stove like an overstimulated sim? No, absolutely not. But Fluid does a lot more than that. But I'm actually going to start with my favorite feature that they just came out with, which is multiplayer. So what it does is that it gives you the ability to party up with your friends in a voice chat and open up a browser that you can all view and control together. And let me show you how easy it is. So you open up Fluid, click this multiplayer icon, enter a unique code for your party, give that code to your friends so they can enter the code, and that's it. Hello. You're now in a voice chat while viewing and controlling the same shared browser. And you can do fun things like watch videos and movies together. Doing some videos. No way. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, so it does full screen the browser. You can play games, read about the multiverse, order food, because why not? And, oh, it's actually here, so let me just get that, okay? I'll be right back. <sighs> Look, I don't have a lot of time in this universe, so I have to tell you something really important. Our partner, Mint Mobile, is offering new customers any three-month plan for $15 a month. That's 50% off the unlimited plan. And trust me, I don't know if this offer was even supposed to happen in this universe. And if you don't want to listen to me, that's fine. But you should listen to him. him. Big Wireless wants you to believe that unlimited plans need to be expensive to be good, which is crazy. Mint Unlimited is just $30 a month, and it's amazing. Heck, I'm a free spokesperson, and I'm just as good as the others, right? No? Don't answer that. Whether you're paying for speed, coverage, data, or access to 5G, Mint Mobile's got you covered because they're built on the nation's largest 5G network. And switching is super easy. Just get an eSIM and be done in like 15 minutes. Okay, I gotta go. But just remember, new customers get any three-month plan for $15 a month, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally 30 bucks. So do the math, okay? I gotta go. Click the link in the description, and maybe I'll see you again soon. Shh, goodbye. We got our pi- oh, we, we got our pizza. Was someone here? Anyways. Fluid. Did you know that Fluid actually beat Meta themselves in releasing Xbox Cloud Gaming for the Quest without needing any side loading whatsoever? And I don't really play a lot of Xbox, but in the little that I have tried playing Xbox Cloud Gaming in the Quest, I actually do think that Fluid is still a pretty solid option even though the official app is already out, because Fluid lets you resize and reposition your window however you want. And now with the multiplayer feature, maybe even have a long distance friend watch and chat with you while you play and kind of give you that old school couch co-op feeling that I so miss. But if gaming is not for you and you're more of a productivity type of person, then Fluid definitely has a couple of tricks up their sleeve for you. They have this thing called the workspaces where you can basically have preset browsers for different activities. So for example, if you have a job workspace, then you could click it and it'll load all the sites you have saved that you normally go to when you're working. You could have an entertainment workspace where it would open up your favorite video and streaming sites. They even have support for different keyboards and different languages, 
intuitive UI for both controllers and hands. Like if you want to move browsers around, you could just grab it with your fist and move it around as opposed to aiming for like a specific part of the browser and dragging that. No, you could just make a fist and grab it like it's a real object in the physical world. Pretty cool. But it is not all rainbows and butterflies. Fluid is an early access app and it is in active development. So you will encounter bugs and sometimes things may not behave the way you expect them to, but the developers are very active on their Discord and they're always taking feedback and sending Bernie Sanders memes. I honestly don't know if these developers even sleep because they're always releasing cool things so often. They even release their own head straps for the quest. Fluid team, if you ever release your own headset, I would like it to be water resistant just because your name is Fluid and I think it would be funny. Thanks. Look, I know this wasn't a review, but more about me telling you that Fluid exists and some of the high level things it can do. And they're not paying me or anything for this video. I just think the app deserves more attention, not just for what it can do now, but for all the potential it has for the future. So to wrap up, I'm going to read five real reviews of Fluid from the App Lab with different star ratings from one star to five stars and then you could decide if you want to try it out or not. I have my laptop right here. One star. Fluid is a security nightmare and tracks every website I visit. Dev responds. Hey there. You are generally very safe when using Fluid and your information is private. Users are always anonymous and we always scrub in identifying info out. For example, we know an anonymous user went to youtube.com but not what they searched for or watched and then they have a link to their privacy policy and their Discord. Two stars, doc frustration. The latest frustration is editing the links in the doc buttons. The cut and paste function does not seem to work at all and one must enter the complete URL for each doc button. Please advise if cut and paste is supposed to work. I feel like I just read a work email. Dev response, hey, thanks for the bug report. Copy and paste should work there. We'll fix this. Three stars, okay. You need to have where if you put a movie on in browser, you can use the full screen option in bottom right of page. Dev responds, Hey there, we added this feature for all video sites in version 0.18.0. And I actually tried it and they weren't lying. The function is live. Oh, my hand's getting tired. Four stars, spatial computing for the rest of us. Yes, the app is in early development, but even now you can already see the huge potential that it has. And based on the really open and quick follow-up from the dev team, I'm very convinced that this will be soon one of the must-have apps on your headset. That's what I said. Dev response, nothing. They haven't responded to that. I don't know if they've seen it, but I'm sure they would be very happy to see that feedback. Now, the five-star rating. This one is called, this product is too complete to be used. What? This product is too complete to be used. For free. Oh. If you sell it for this, I will gladly buy it. Dev response? Thanks. There you have it, folks. If you have not tried Fluid before, I suggest going onto the App Lab and downloading it for free and just trying it for yourself and see if you like it. And if you find things you don't like, you can always join their Discord and give feedback to the dev team to let them know what can be improved. At the very least, I think this is an easy way to watch movies with friends and or just kind of do things together on the same browser. Because why not? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's been so long and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you enjoy this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos.